get in, lads. Me and the Handmaid's Tale are here to talk to you about the upcoming Champions League quarterfinal matchups. We're going to give you guys a little bit of a prediction ahead of uh, this week's first leg um, games. Um, four different matchups to talk about. Uh, <laughs> Arsenal, Bayern, Real Madrid City, PSG, Barcelona, and Atletico Madrid, and Borussia Dortmund. So we're going to give you guys a score predictions at least, a little bit of how we think it's going to go for each one of those matchups overall, not just the first leg, the whole tie um, as a whole. Um, if you guys have any opinions or think we're wrong or want to call us out or think we're right for that matter, uh, make sure to comment it down below. Leave a like, please. Um, it helps us out more than you guys know, lets us reach more people, and we're very close to a thousand subscribers. So if you want to help us get there, uh, we greatly appreciate that. We're going to do a mystery kit giveaway when the time comes, probably. So if you want to be a part of that, you have to be subscribed. Um, so yeah, let's just get right into it. Arsenal Bayern first is the first game. Um, that pops up here when you look it up on Google. So Arsenal Bayern, an interesting matchup for me. Um, Fucking hate Arsenal so much. <laughs> so I don't want to say they're going to win, but I have a feeling they're going to win. You think so? I think so. Yeah, I, th- I think Arteta is going to do a masterclass. Interesting. Well, wow, that's a lot coming from my dress. I don't know if you, if you guys are previous viewers of this channel I fucking watch hate Arsenal, related to Arsenal so much yeah <laughs> yeah he is I don't uh, know if this man has ever given praise to Arsenal actually um this might be the first dude, time because every time I say years. they're gonna lose they win you know yeah you know so like I don't... oh so I, I see what you're doing so you're doing a little bit reverse psychology on them reverse right psychology yeah okay um but I don't I'm gonna I'm just gonna give it to Ar- I just have a feeling they'll pull it through I just I think it's gonna be a really close game both legs, but I, I have a mm. feeling. Wait, hold on, let me check where they're playing in the first leg. Okay, they're you know, playing at I... the Emirates first leg. Okay. So, okay. I, you know, I, I I do think I do think Arsenal have not been good in Europe this season. Let's be honest, they have not really been that good. True. They've been they've struggled. They won on penalties against Porto to get here. Let's remember that. Oh Kyle shit! I completely forgot about that. Yeah, in the in, in the in the last um, um, round of sixteen. Um, yep. So to play against Byron, it's going to be a big one. Um, and you know what Byron have? And I wish Diego was here for this one. You know what Byron have that Arsenal fans hate? Mister Harry Kane, <laughs> Mister Harrison Kane, who has been in top notch form for Byron all season. I mean, if you're, if you're a football follower, if you follow one football account on Instagram, you'd know. That he's been killing it over in the Bundesliga. Granted, Bayern have not had a good season in general. Thomas Tuchel, my 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 love, my lord, my idol. Your lord. He <laughs> for, <laughs> for those of you who don't know, I'm a Chelsea fan. Um, that's what happens when you win one Champions League with the men. <laughs> my lord. It was a great time. It was it was a great day. It was a great day. Um, but he it's has been shit ever tanked. since. <laughs> he was, he, it's been it's been terrible. It's been terrible, Todd. Um, it's been <laughs> it's been a very down season for Bro, Bayern just Munich. Just address the manager by his first name, Tom. <laughs> the owner, the owner. Come on. I, oh, sorry, owner. That's why I meant my fault. Yeah, but yeah, <laughs> Tom. It's okay. Anyways, anyways, uh, Bayern obviously have not had a good season so far. Um, they're not going to win the Bundesliga, which is a shock. Obviously, Bayern Leverkusen is on track to win it with Xabi Alonso, but Bayern have not had a good season. So it's going to be a good game for sure, but. I, I do think over the course of two legs, Bayern's going to pull it out primarily because of the lack of experience for me from Arsenal in, in this level of European football. Um, they don't have a lot of experience, a very young team as well. Whereas Bayern, a lot of the core members have been here time and time again. So I think Bayern's going to be the ones to pull it out 100%. I don't, I, I'm not doubting myself on that. If I'm being really honest here. I, I'm, I'm going to say this. I mean, if Arteta, uh, I'm gonna put this in quotes already. Air quotes mm-hmm. pulls off a masterclass in terms of managing, and decides to make the baddest low block the world has ever seen, and say that is a tactical masterpiece. Um, <laughs> I, I think I think they might win it if they decide to uh, press a uh, press left on the D pad all the way and just park the bus. Oh, for defensive. I, I think they, I, I think they could do it. I think if not even ultra defensive. Oh yeah, that shit. Park the bus doesn't even exist anymore. I yeah. think if they do, uh, they go back to uh, their roots of FIFA and just park the bus like they did against Man City and and mm-hmm. you know, Gunners fans say that it was a 
tactical masterpiece, and they're very proud of that performance. Um, I think they could pull it out on the counter just because I feel like they're a little bit faster than uh, Bayern Munich in terms of pace on defense. Uh, so I think they could do it. I'm going to stick to that. I guarantee yeah. you they are not going to come out guns blazing against Bayern Munich on the second leg. I think they're going to come back, chill out. But I think Bayern Munich is going to possess the ball a lot. I don't think they're going to – I think they're not going to allow – Arsenal to do what they do against uh, in, against smaller teams in the Premier League. I don't think they're going to allow them to dictate the pace. Uh, mm-hmm. So I think I think they're going to have to do park the bus. And you know, I'm going to say this real quick just because I we're talking about Arsenal. Imagine being fighting for a title race and you're playing against someone who is also fighting for the title race, and your game plan is to park the bus, and you're happy with that performance <laughs> is crazy to me because you're supposed to be the best in the league, and then when you're scared of the other team so you park the bus, I don't know. that That's just crazy to me that you would the audacity to do that. It just fucking bewilders me sometimes. You know what? Shout out Aston Villa for going trying to go toe-to-toe with Man City in this, in this past week because at least they didn't park the bus and they actually tried to go for it. So, you know what? Respect to, respect to Aston Villa for doing that. But fuck Arsenal, man. I hate them so much, but I think they might do this, unfortunately. But fuck, man. Seeing that Andres, shit on Twitter pissed me off. <laughs> Andres has been... We have recorded in about two weeks. Andres needed that for those of you uh, for those of you uh, that are watching, I just needed that. Now back to Champions League. Uh, <laughs> uh, also, wait, real quick, back to your point about Arsenal having more pace on offense than Brian does on defense. Um, we've completely ignored Alfonso Davies with that one. Just want to put that out there. Uh, honestly, he's, 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 I don't know. I don't see. Sometimes he's like there, and sometimes he's not there. Like in terms of like hmm. performance, like sometimes he's like okay. really good, and other times he's just kind of like, eh, and it just depends on which Alfonso Davies you get. You get the sure. Canadian national team, Alfonso Davis. <laughs> not nah, no bueno. If you get the the Bayern Munich one, good things gonna happen. It just depends on the day for that man. I have no hate sure. against man. I love that guy, but I'm just. Sure. I'm he just also saying. does have a really good track history in the Champions League as well. Just put that there. He he does perform. He does tend to perform in the Champions League in European competitions. So we'll see. Um, okay, split Andres with Arsenal, me with Bayern here. Um, let's see who's right in the end. Next matchup on the same day is Real Madrid, Manchester City. Um, that should be a final. I feel like we've watched this matchup, what, how many times in the past few years? Too many I times. I feel like it happens once every every, every year. It's like an exhibition game. It's an exhibition game. But this is if it, this is the matchup of the round. I mean, it has to be, right? Um, yeah. I don't, there's no other matchup for me where it's toe-to-toe it's, I, I would it's have expected this to be the giant. final, if I'm being honest. Yeah, 100%. 100%. And I think whoever wins this does go on to the final, if I'm being honest. Um, yeah. City and Real Madrid. Probably the two biggest clubs in the world right now in terms of how they're being talked about uh, throughout social media and fairly equal in quality. In different ways, but fairly equal in quality. If this isn't an all-time classic, like they typically are, uh, be disappointed. Ask for a Paramount Plus refund. Um, (laughs) If I'm being honest... I don't know who to pick here. I don't know who to pick here. Uh, yeah, I honestly, this is I, I 100% agree with you. I have no idea who's gonna win this game. Genuinely, mm-hmm. I just know it's gonna be a really good game. I really hope it is. I, I both both legs. I think both legs are gonna be fantastic. Obviously, the second leg I think is gonna be the best. Usually, right. second legs are against these two two giants at, uh, in the footballing world. But honestly, I don't know who to right. pick. I, Jude Bellingham, Erling Holland. Go against each other. Obviously, yep. they're probably the Vinny, two biggest. Kevin De Bruyne. I mean, the teams are Raji stacked on, oh. on on both sides, and I don't know. I generally don't know who to pick. And fudge, it's. Just, I think it's going to be one of those games where it's going to be really close, but it's going to go down to an individual to to make to change the game in terms of mm-hmm. making that one pass, that one shot. Mm-hmm. And I have no idea who's going to do it. <laughs> I'm gonna, I was going to say. Is it going to be it, Phil it, Foden? So I don't do. know. Phil Foden's having a phenomenal season. Uh, is it going to be Phil Foden? No idea. Is it going to be Jude Bellingham? No idea. Finish his junior? No idea. I just know someone's going to, someone, some individual is going to have an absolute amazing, do something crazy, and then win the game. Uh, that's or all, everybody. That's all. It's going to be. Or everybody is going to have that moment, if I'm being honest. I, I one, one thing to mention, too, is both starting keepers are out with injury. Courtois and Ederson are both gone. 
That means Kepa starts in Real Madrid for Real Madrid. Kepa does not have a good history against Manchester City as a Chelsea fan. Trust me, I remember. I would know. <laughs> Sucks. It's okay. Um, but this is definitely I, I can't I can't I'm not gonna say who's gonna win here. I'm not gonna say who's gonna win here. I don't want to sacrifice that. But I will say it's gonna be a good game. Hundred percent. It, it's fun to watch. No doubt yeah. in my mind. It I mean, this is, this is the matchup of the week. Maybe the month, maybe the season, if I'm being honest. This yeah. is the game here. It, I, I hope it's one go, one of those be like we look back on and be like, dude, do you remember that quarterfinal in mm-hmm. 2024? Mm-hmm. I really hope it's going to be one of those just because of the way both teams have played this season mm-hmm. and the players they have. I really hope it is, but we'll see. We'll see. I hope it yeah. lives up to his expectations. Do you remember, people? Don't have super high expectations because if you do, you're going to be disappointed no matter what happens in this game. So be excited, be happy, but you know, don't don't put it like it's going to be like a high scoring game or something like that because then you're not going to enjoy the match. Just remember, modest expectations. So whatever happens can uh, succeed it. Yeah. Life lessons. Succeed it. Life lessons. I'm just trying to make sure because we have this whole Champions League format change and all, and you know, I'm just trying to make sure that. Wow. We needed that. You know what I mean? I needed that. I'm just trying to keep the positivity going, you know? I appreciate that. uh, But yeah, I mean, if we're on to the next game of old Giants, if you really want to think about this, Uh, let's go PSG Barcelona. I mean, Mm -hmm. should be Giants, is how I would describe it. Should be, but aren't really Giants uh, anymore. What are we thinking? PSG versus Barcelona. It's one of those is kind of like, eh. it, it, it's, so, it's, it's, it's crazy. It's the complete like, opposite it's... of the Real Madrid City game for me. Like, I I can't pick a winner because like, I, not, I don't know. I, neither team I feel like deserves to win here. But <laughs> like, uh, if think about how crazy that statement is. I completely agree with you. Like, think about it. Like, five, seven years ago, you say that PSG Barcelona, and they'll be like, mm. oh, that sounds like a great game. Nowadays, it's kind of like, oh, that game. <laughs> yeah. like, I think it's honestly probably one of the worst ones in, in the quarterfinals. I Honestly, I'd rather watch Atletico versus Dortmund because I feel like that's going to be a more <laughs> uh, contested game. I'll say for this one, I'll, I'm going to give a prediction because this is a prediction video, and I feel like we're just taking these way out here for two twice in a row. First time, as I understand. I'm going to go PSG here. Um as long yeah, as they play it right, I mean, I still, I still think they are a better team than Barcelona. Uh, I might get some some flack for that, um, but I still do think they are a better team than Barcelona. Um, I think, I think Mbappe here is going to be the, the the key player to watch uh, because Barca will be the thorn in his side uh, for probably the next decade of his time since he's probably going to Real Madrid. Um, he needs to play his heart out here for the sake of for, for Real Madrid fans and whatnot. Um, I do think PSG are going to pull out the win, but it's going to be a close game, not because of, wow, two giants battling it out here. Who's going to land the final blow? It's going to be, too, it's going to be a close game because, you know, because it's meh for me. I don't know. And <laughs> it's I'm meh versus wrong. meh. It's I'm a like, big I'm, game. Obviously they're very, they're two very two, they're, they're very two big clubs. With great teams, I mean, they're obviously still probably in the top ten squads in the world, and maybe we are discrediting them a little bit, but still, it just doesn't excite me as much as I would like it to, as much as Real Madrid versus City, um, and that says a lot for both teams. I mean, PSG should have four, five Champions Leagues under their belt, have not been able to put it together, and over the course of time, my expectations for them have dwindled, um, and not a surprising matter. I mean, I really do not. Every year before this, I Oops. would confidently say PSG are one of the favorites to win it. Now, I don't think anyone's saying that, if I'm being honest. I don't think anyone's going to sit there and be it's like, PSG are going to win it. It's a boring side to watch. Like, let's be real. Yeah, They're it's, so boring. It's, it's, and it's you know what, you honestly, farmers league. amen, amen. Uh, we might come back to this, and I might be completely wrong. Like, let's say they win this, that'll be a little bit embarrassing and shameful, and I might have to quit the whole podcast. But <laughs> it's just, you know, it's just whatever for me. It used to be, whoa. PSG Barcelona. Now it's PSG Barcelona. Yeah, yeah it's PSG Barcelona. It's. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna. I'm gonna change mine. Just gonna go Barcelona. Just, just so we can. Just, just in case we can keep our credibility. If mm. one of them wins, you know, keep our credibility. But I think PSG is gonna win. But, but to keep our credibility sakes, uh, Barcelona just because Gundogan and Robert. Uh, I was about to say Roberto Lewandowski. <laughs> Robert Lewandowski. There you go. There you go. <laughs> 
<laughs> the Mexican version. <laughs> Roberto Lewandowski. Le- but, uh, <laughs> Lewandowski. Yeah, I'm. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna uh, say that. Just, I think he might. Who knows? Maybe we'll get a fucking Bayern versus uh, Barcelona, and he can return, and then Kane. Who knows? That'll be that'll be rid in the stars. It'll be a Hollywood ending, I guess, for someone. But whatever. On to the next one. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> let's go. Dortmund Atletico. What are we thinking? I think this is actually a more exciting game than the PSG Barcelona <laughs> game. It's such a hard. I hate predicting matchups with either team. If I'm being honest, and like in years past, because Atletico is Atletico. We everyone knows how Diego Simeone plays with Atletico Madrid, and it's worked for the most part. Um, they've been rather successful with it. It's boring, yeah, but it's worked. Um, I love Antoine Griezmann. That's why. I, that's why I like Atletico Madrid. That's why um, I'm gonna pick Dortmund. Actually, Dortmund. <laughs> that's I'm gonna why pick I'm gonna Dortmund. Pick Dortmund. Dortmund. <laughs> I like Dortmund's side. I really like Dortmund's side. I like watching Dortmund. I think they're a fun team to watch. Um, I think that they haven't had the easiest way to get here, uh, unfortunately. But I do think they're building up to something, um, and a very young core. Very young core. So I think they're going to be very exciting. It's just a matter of breaking down Atletico Madrid, which will be the factor for me. Patience, but I'm still going to go Dortmund. Patience. I'm going to go Dortmund too. I, okay. I, I think I, I think Dortmund, I agree, is a lot more exciting to watch. No. Uh, and I, I just think they have more quality too at the end of the day. And I and I think uh, I think they'll be able to get to the semis. I think if, they, if they're patient with it and they don't get frustrated with each other, then I, I think they got this in the bag personally. Right. So it's yeah. looking like the semifinals for our predictions of who's. Do we know who's playing who? No, there's a draw know. for that, right? There but is a draw anyways, for that. Uh, undecided Real Madrid, Man City. We don't know yet. It's going to be a really good game. Hopefully, it's both legs going to be a really good game. Arsenal, Bayern, Bayern Munich. I said Arsenal. I just said Bayern. PSG, Barcelona. We did split C's just for the credibility sakes, but we all know <laughs> probably PSG's good. Uh, might win this. Atletico Madrid uh, versus Dortmund. Dortmund, to uh, both of us agreed Dortmund, yeah. but um, yeah, I, I'm sure we'll get a more definitive answer bef- uh, after the first leg to see what happens. But you know, yeah. we're making this like uh, almost a week before the the games are going to be played, so mm-hmm. a couple days before the games are going to be played. But um, yeah, that that's our prediction for the Champions League quarterfinal round. If you guys agree with us, disagree with us, let us know in the comments. Um, we always loved hearing your guys' opinion. If you hate our opinions, um. We don't care either. Uh, don't, see. <laughs> <laughs> don't worry about mm. it. Um, anyways, really? thank you guys for watching. Uh, don't cancel me, please. Uh, uh, you know what? I don't care. Um, but uh, thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, please subscribe because we are only a uh, hundred away, less than a hundred. So help us out. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed. Hit the like button, subscribe. So and peace.